Oh, hey. Sorry, I was just taking a 1982 SAT exam. But what's interesting about this exam is that in the math section there is one question that none of the millions of test takers got right. So, let's take a look. Circle A has one-third the radius of circle B. Circle A rolls around circle B until it returns to its starting position. How many revolutions of circle A are there in total? Here are some answer choices. If you feel so inclined, pause the video and give it a try. Now, remember this problem because we'll return to it at the end. But first, onto something seemingly unrelated. If you are an average person, which statistically you are, then you probably think that the Earth rotates 365 times every year. Well, I posit to you, ladies and gentlemen, that that is a lie. Because the Earth is actually flat. Because the Earth actually orbits around the Sun. Ignore the Earth's rotation for a moment, and only consider its movement around the Sun. Notice the shadow on Earth forming a year-long day-night cycle? The takeaway here is that the Earth orbiting around the Sun adds an extra day to each year, evenly distributed to add 4 minutes onto every day. While a day is exactly 24 hours, the Earth itself only takes 23 hours and 56 minutes to complete one rotation around its axis. We call this a sidereal day. Well and good, but why do we care? Because when studying stars in the night sky, they are in the same position not every day, but every sidereal day. If you look every 24 hours, the sky will have moved by roughly one degree after each night. It's for this reason that astronomers have special clocks that run four minutes slower every single day. But I digress. Let's get back to the SAT exam, shall we? Alright, if circle A rolls along the circumference of circle B, it looks like it completes three rotations. So the answer must be three, right? Well, slow down there, hotshot, because remember that circle A also orbits around circle B. Just like the Earth orbiting around the Sun, that means that we need to add the extra rotation of the orbit. The answer is 4. Don't believe me? Take a look at this animation. If you got it wrong, don't worry. So did the professionals who wrote this question, and technically, so did everybody who took that test. Wow! Two facts for the price of one. If you want to help pick next week's topic, just shout your idea into your computer screen and I'll get right on it. Until next week, stay curious!